Say we have this experiment that doing a fuel cell and we're using this to generate electricity and through uh, reaction between hydrogen, oxygen, and air. And we just manipulate all the parameters. So we're trying to find um, the kinetic parameter through this experiment. So first thing you're gonna do is these two things back here. You're gonna make sure they're full of water. And if the two little bottles don't have water, or if they're full of water, you need to empty them. And you need to make sure that the therm thermistors go all the way in there. And put them down as tightly as you can. And then you're gonna turn on the hydrogen. And you do it all the way and then a quarter turn back. And then you'll turn on the air and all the way open, right? Okay. And then, but if these two, these two have to be within um, like 0.5 PSIG of each other, more like 0.3 probably. And if your air is staying at one and your hydrogen is not getting up to there, that means you're out of air and turn everything off immediately. And then you um, turn it on here, right? And then the valves you turn on. And then you just start messing with these to get pressures right. And then you can go through and change whatever you want here. All right, so what you're trying to find out with this experiment is the amount of voltage that you can produce with this fuel cell. That's a really basic version. You also want to find out how the voltage is dependent on your flow rates, which are controlled with these knobs, and how it's dependent on the temperature. We go by fuel cell stack temperature. If you really want to mess with humidifier temperatures, there's also instructions in the manual for how to do those experiments. All of these experiments are detailed in the manual. I think it's chapter three or four, which is really nice. So basically, power output as a function of all the different parameters of the cell you change each of them one at a time in order to find out the end, in order to find a kind of formula for how to get your cell voltage. There are a lot of issues that you can have with data collection. This is really an exercise in hypertension, so I'm just gonna say that right now. So the problem with this experiment is that sometimes your data collection can shut off for a reason or reasons unknown. At this point, I'm still not sure why. So usually, if you haven't seen these numbers, any of them changing in a while, which conveniently, this is true for us right now, you have something wrong. So one of the things you can try doing is pushing your stop button. This is your record data. Push stop. Your time, your graph will drop all the data that it had. And then if you push start again, we can look and see if anything changes. And unfortunately, it did not, so we have to try our second. So if that still continues, then you turn off the power to the fuel cell for a while, like five or 10 seconds really, usually is sufficient. Then you turn it back on and see if we're lucky. Oh yay, and there are data points, which means we're collecting data again. So that's a really early problem that you can have. Um, I would also suggest doubling the flow rates, especially for the hydrogen as the, for the ones found in the manual because it'll be easier to get the data. That's about it for data collection.